Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a t-shirt garment flat in Adobe Illustrator which you can use for your own clothing line or streetwear brand. You can download this t-shirt flat file for free and follow along. Link is in the description. Yo what's going on YouTube? It's Justin here and we're back with another video. Having a detailed design flat will help reduce the amount of errors and time spent going back and forth with production. So that when you pass the flat onto your printer or factory, they'll know what to do and produce them to your exact specifications. Now let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up Adobe Illustrator. Once you have the program open, create a new file and give it a name. Since we're creating a t-shirt flat, we can keep things simple and name it t-shirt flat, but you can name it whatever you want. For the size, we can go with a square. Let's do 12 by 12 inches. Since we're going to be working with a vector file, it doesn't really matter what size you choose as long as it's a square format. Once you have that done, click create to continue. Now that we have the file set up, we can move on to the next step. Moving on, you're going to go on Google and search for a t-shirt blank and click on the images tab. Scroll down until you find a t-shirt blank that you like, then right click and copy image. Then go back into Illustrator and paste the image. Once the image is pasted, go ahead and center it onto the artboard. You're also going to want to scale down the image so that it fits within the artboard. To do this, click on the image. Hold down Option, Shift, and click on the upper left corner and drag towards the middle until you get the size you want. Next, you're going to want to fade out the image a little so you can trace the lines with a pen tool. Click on the image and go up to where it says Opacity and fade it out to about 50 to 60% so that it's semi-transparent. You can change the opacity value by dragging the slider from left to right or you can manually type in the number up above. Next, you're going to want to go to Layers tab and lock down this layer so it doesn't move around when you're tracing. What you're going to do next is create a new layer and set a vertical guideline going down the middle of the garment. To set the guideline, you're going to want to turn on your ruler first. To do this, hit Command R and then click on the left side of the ruler and drag over the guideline until you hit the center point of the garment. Now that you have that set up, it's time to start tracing. Let's go ahead and set up your pen tool settings. Click on the pen tool and go down to the fill and stroke section. What you're gonna do is set the fill to none and the stroke to black with a one point stroke. So the trick to doing this next part is to work in half. With the pen tool selected, begin by drawing a point. Let's start from the top left side of the collar. Click on one point and add another point. You can drag these anchor points here to create curves. To complete this line, what you're gonna do is hold down Option and click on the end point. Now that you've completed your first line, trace the rest of the outer edges of the shirt. If you wanna make a straight line, hold down the Shift key and click on a point. Now that we've traced the outer edges of the shirt, let's go ahead and add some more details, starting with the collar. Select the pen tool and draw a U-shape to form the collar. Don't worry too much about drawing the lines outside of the traced edges. I'm going to show you a cool trick in a little bit. Now repeat the same steps to create the bottom edge of the collar. Now let's work on the inside of the collar. To make a copy of this line here, what you can do is hold Option Shift, click on the line and drag down to make a duplicate copy. We're gonna draw a curve here to form the armpit area. At this point, you have the main parts of the t-shirt done. 
So what you're going to do now is select all of the lines that you've just created and hit Command G to group them all together. Next, you're going to hit O on your keyboard to turn on the Reflect tool. And then you're going to take your mouse and click on the center line that you've created. The Reflect tool dialog box will pop up. Make sure that vertical is selected and then click on Copy. Now that we have both sides of the t-shirt created, you might notice that there's a gap between the two sides. So what we're gonna do next is bridge the gaps from the two sides. To do this next step, you're gonna go to the Shaper tool, left click and hold until you see a menu pop out, and then you're gonna select the Join tool. Once you have the Join tool selected, you're gonna click from left to right to connect the lines together. Now this next part isn't really necessary, but for those of you with OCD and want perfect lines with minimal anchor points, this is how you do it. You're gonna left click and hold down on the pen tool and select delete anchor point tool on the sub menu. Once you have the delete anchor point tool selected, click on the anchor points to delete them. Now to smooth out the lines on the collar, you're gonna select on the anchor point tool. Left click and hold on the pen tool and select Anchor Point Tool on the submenu. Once you have the Anchor Point Tool selected, click on the center point to create a V-shape. Once you have the V-shape, you're gonna click and drag outwards to form the curve. To make the curve even on both sides, hold Shift and drag out. You're gonna repeat the same steps to the rest of the curves on the collar. At this point, your flat lay should look something like this. Now to get rid of all of the overhanging lines on the garment, what you're gonna do is select all of the lines, go under the Pathfinder tool, and then you're gonna hit Divide. To get rid of the lines on the neck collar, what you're gonna do is hit the Direct Selection tool, and then select the collar, and hit Unite on the Pathfinder tool. Once you have that done, there's just one last step, and that is to fill in the color of the shirt. So what you're gonna do is select all of the lines that you've just created and go up top on the control panel and under the fill section, select the color white. And once you have that done, you can go back to the layers panel and delete the first layer you created. Congrats, you just made yourself a t-shirt flat. Now you can use this flat to create design mockups for your printer or factory so that they can make them to the exact specs that you want them. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add more details to the garment by adding rib lines to the collar as well as stitch lines. But for now, I think this is a good place to start. And there you have it. Once again, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you found this video helpful, hit that like, comment, and subscribe. I will continue to create content on this channel to help you level up on your design game. So keep it locked. Much love, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.